Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to play random sound effects at random intervals in between and these can be right next to you or in the distance or anywhere you like but I'm going to go and show you that today and also before I start, uh, this Friday, which is Friday the 21st of August 2020 at 7pm BST I'm going to be doing a game jam so feel free to join that, I'll link in the description down below it would mean a lot if you would join it or if not, I've also just got a Discord now as well, which you can also join. So both of those links will be down in the description below. So let's get right into this video. So for this, I'm going to be doing this in a map that I created in a previous tutorial on foliage and then also the landscape video as well. So just doing a nice little forest here. But what I'm going to do first to start off with is just import some sound effects. So I'm going to go back to content and then make a new folder and just call this sound effects like so. I'm going to open that up and then just import all of these in there that I want. So I'm just going to drag and drop these in here to import them and you want to make sure that they are wav.16 bit files otherwise it won't work. So that's .wav 16 bit. So once you've imported those what I'm going to actually do for the stick snapping so you can see I have an owl hooting and then three different stick snapping sound effects. What I'm going to do is right click create a sound cue and we'll do this for the owl as well but this is slightly different so we're going to right click go to sounds and then sound cue. I'm just going to call this stick snapping. Obviously you call this whatever you want. So we'll open that up and we'll just select our different sound effects that we want in here. We'll drag and drop those in. And then what we're going to do is move them over. I'm going to come out of the output of one of them and just get a random like that and then add another input. So we then have three like so. Now for the output we're going to want to go into a modulator. And essentially what this is doing is it's just taking all these three different sound effects and it's going to choose one and it's going to choose one at random whenever we play this sound cue. Now we could also put the owl in here as well if you want it to just be all through one sound cue, but I'm going to be doing it separately like this. So that should be that part done. And also you can mess around with these, mess around with all the settings. So if you play it, it's got that one, that one, and that one. So you can say the different sound and I think the sound for that is good for me. So if we just say this and then minimize it, we'll do the same for the owl. So if we then just right click sounds sound cue call this owl hooting and I'm also just going to put Q at the end of it as well so I'll do that for the stick snapping too Q or sound cue whatever you want so let's open up the owl hooting one and again do the same thing just drag in that sound effect and if you have more than one you can again obviously just tell it to do random like so so we'll save that minimize it again and then there's two different ways you can do it in the character itself or in the world I'm going to show you both ways, but I'll start off with the character itself. So if we just open up our third person character, or first person, whichever one you're using, just open that up like that, and if we go into the viewport here, we can see that if we go up to add components up here, and if we get audio, we can see that we can then get different audios. So if you just get the one at the top, where it's just audio, I'm going to call this one stick snapping Q. You can see that over here on the right, we then have a sound, and we can choose the one we want, so I want stick snapping and make sure it's the sound cue at the bottom there and then we can just move this about wherever we want it to be so if, let's say we want the sticks to snap to the right of the player and we can get multiple of these as well but before we do that if we just take override attenuation there we can see that this is where it will be heard so in this circle here it will be the loudest and in this circle you'll be able to just hear it a bit quieter kind of fade out so if we put it here that should be good because it's not too loud but it's fairly loud and this circle here doesn't really matter too much because because this is just for the character so it's not going to be reaching that anyway but if we go back into the sound cue itself so up here and if we just search for override attenuation and find it down here and if we tick that and then go back to here and go all the way back up to the top we have the attenuation distance if we just minimize this a bit you can see that we now have that circle in here as well so now we can kind of just mess about with the circle size so you see how big we want it to be. If we go back in here, you can see that that has changed. So if we untick the override again, you can see that that has now changed. So it looks something like that, which I think looks a lot better for our character. So I think that's good. So I'll leave it like that. Obviously mess about with this as much as you want. I'm just gonna save that again. And we'll do the same for the owl hooting here as well. Just override attenuation, go back up to the top here and then just change it. I'll just make it the same. So that's 930, doesn't matter the value, that's just the one I'm going with. I'm going to save that and go back to the third person character. And again, I'm going to get multiple stick snapping cues. So if I just control C, control V to, to duplicate them, we can then get multiple ones. So I'm then just going to put this one here, make it a little louder, a little closer like that. 
right behind the player and then we'll put another one just a bit over here I might move this one forward a bit as well like that so that's where the different stick snapping sound effects will be like that and that's where you'll be able to hear it so it looks a bit confusing it's basically these circles and then the bigger circles so now let's get one for the owl as well so if we get audio again and this one I'll call owl hooting Q like that and then again on sound we'll get owl hooting and get the sound cue and again we've got the attenuation like it is I'm going to put one over here I might move it up a bit so it sounds like it's in a tree and these ones I've made sure they're on the ground so it sounds like the sticks are snapping just like them moving down a bit so they're on the ground like that that looks good the owl again in the sky and I'll just get multiple ones of these as well like this I think that's good like so and if we hit compile this is this part done so if we go back to the event graph go find some empty space we'll do is get the event tick command like this so an event tick will come off and we'll get a sequence if you've already used the tick then just get a sequence like this and off of then zero all we're going to do is just simply get a delay like so and for the duration what we're going to do is drag off of this and get random float in range like this and basically the range we want to be the time in between so I'm going to put it as 3 and 10 so what this means for me is anywhere between 3 and 10 seconds it will play the sound effect again so now obviously you might want to increase this for your actual game I'm just doing this for testing purposes so it happens a lot quicker but anywhere after 3 seconds and before 10 seconds it will play these sound effects like this so then basically off of completed here what we want to do is just simply get play sound at location and the sound we want this to be stick snapping cue for the first one so if I just get that in here so stick snapping cue like that and the location I want to be that sound effect so if we get that so get a reference to it drag and drop it in get world location like this and then just plug that location into the location of that there that should be this part now done so before I get all the other ones in let's test it on this one first so compile and then just hit minimize and hit play you can he see that you hear it in the background there you heard the owl playing although the owl was just because I had a place in, I have a place in the world but you can hear the stick snapping every so often so there was one there and so many seconds later it was again and you can hear it is in the back right of us so if this way was north it would be southeast from us so that's working so let's set it up for all the other ones again obviously because I have it such a short time when I add all of them there will be quite a lot um, but obviously when you have it set up properly with the proper timings it will sound a lot better so what we're going to do is just copy and paste this the amount of times we want to play it so we have one two three four five six different sound cues so I'm going to copy and paste this another five times so one two three four five and I'll just move all this over and I'm going to get six different thens so we want then zero then one then two then three then four and then five and obviously just plug all of these in accordingly and again you can change the delays for each one if you want to make them more unique or more common more uncommon whatever but I think for me this is going to be fine as again it's just for testing purposes so what we want to do is just get rid of these references here and change the sound location play the sound that we're playing so this one stick snapping two so then we want this cue here get world location and you want to make sure that you always have the same sounds that are playing and the location of them that you have so then we'll do the same again down here so you get the location of that stick snapping three so it's probably a good idea to name them the same one that you have for the sound effect itself so I'll hit and cue like that although sorry these ones will just be the same actually won't they the sound effects here because it's going to be the sound cue so actually this doesn't matter we don't need to change this at all because it just needs to be the cue each time because that has the attenuation on it so we'll keep it, those ones as a cue and these ones will change to the owl hooting cue for all of them like that but then again just change these ones change the location to the ones that you want it to be like that so that should now be all set up so if we compile save and then minimize this hit play to test it there'll be quite a lot of sounds as I have the delay shortened but you'll be able to hear all the different sticks breaking and the owls hooting everywhere around us
so that works perfectly. So now I'll just get rid of this so I can then show you how to do it in the world itself. So that one's now working perfectly. If I hit compile, I'll show you how to do this in the level so it's not just localized to one player. So these ones are here because of the player. So if I move them about, they move with it. So if I put in some different sound cues, or sorry, if I just put in the sound cues but in the actual level itself, we should be able to do it like this. So if I get the owl hooting cue, again, make sure that the player is just in range of them. So obviously, if you're just doing it randomly about the map, this wouldn't matter too much. But I'm just going to make sure that the player is in range just for the testing purposes. So we have those set up now. So now if we go to blueprints and open level blueprint, we'll do all of them in here instead. So we basically want this again. So we just copy this and paste it into the level blueprint now instead. And then again, get the event tick and a sequence like so, but then zero into the delay. And then we'll delete that reference here. And this wants to be stick snapping queue again, but this time for the reference for the location, we're just gonna get those cues from up here. So we've got the owl cues and then the stick snapping cues as well. And we'll just drag and drop those into here like that. So we'll move those about so we have them there. And then we're just going to use these as the reference for them again. So this is stick snapping like that. Move that there. And you want to basically just do this for all of them once again. So I want another five again. So as you can tell, once you get the hang of it, once you know what you're doing, it's very simple. You're basically just repeating the same thing over and over again. So you should be able to catch on and learn with it fairly quickly. So again, I'll get the stick snapping here, plug those in like that. And I've already got the uh, cue and the sound effects there. And then we'll get the owl hooting, put that down here, plug those into the locations again, and then just change the play sound to the owl hooting cue like so. So now if we compile and save this and then minimize and hit play again, you'll see that it works just as well. And we've removed all the ones in the player blueprint, so it's not going to be that. You can see that we can hear them all. And if we move away, we can't hear any anymore because we have them over here in the level. So if we go back over here, we should start hearing them again soon. And there you go. So that works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do. We've got it set up so you can play random sound effects at random times through either the player blueprint or the level blueprint in the world itself. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And again, just want to remind you about the game jam that I'm running this Friday at 7 p.m. BST for a week and also my new Discord server, which are both linked in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.